Who do you want us to go to? Uh, I think Denver too. Rickleman oh, is calling in. The guy with the porn. He fe- wants to defend his good name. Oh, Denver. <laughs> How are you? The How nub, you all doing? The nub legislator. <laughs> hey, Denver. What's up, buddy? <laughs> How you guys doing? What's up, doing Denver? Great. You guys I, actually want to talk Bigfoot porn this morning? Because I'm happy to do it. <laughs> no, I just... Listen, I don't even our care. Our producers do. Are, yeah. Are you into... <laughs> I'll, I'll let our producers are you, interview you. Why, are you into, like, weird porno? It's kind of no, cool I'm not. I, you know, it's... <laughs> well, you guys know military friends. I got about 10 calls yesterday when this went crazy from my opponent, who's a little nuts herself. But we... um. My buddies, actually, we've been doing Bigfoot stuff for 14 years as a prank based on my military days with about five other dudes and one gal. So... We've been on all kinds of expeditions, and now they make fun of it. So we send pictures back and forth, and there was a bunch of pictures posted for my birthday. Mm-hmm. But with Bigfoot, my Bigfoot, my head on Bigfoot bodies, and I thought it was funny, and I posted it to Instagram. So my opponent thought I was into Bigfoot erotica. So that's what happened, and we've had a very fun day with it. But I just wanted to let you guys know I am writing a book about Bigfoot called The Mating Habits of Bigfoot and Why Women Want It. So, um, and it's a joke book with my military p- pals. And if you guys need me to come on and show it to you and my pals, I would come on your show. Hey, hey, Denver, so, Denver, let me ask you this: How many people have sure. a, how many how many people have actually seen Bigfoot? Nobody. Oh my gosh! Well, I haven't. I would say though, if you go to the BFR web BFRO yeah, yeah. website, there's thousands of sightings. So thousands. Well, there's a okay, so the reason I started getting interested in this because Bigfoot forums has hundreds of thousands of people that follow Bigfoot, and right. there's different religions in Bigfoot. Right. So uh, when Twitter you're a military following. intelligence guy like me, yeah. you start going, "My God, there's that many people out there who love Bigfoot and do weird things." So you and, actually uh, hold on. So you actually think Big, Bigfoot exists? Yeah, he's up in Vermont. No, I don't. <laughs> oh, you don't? Okay. Not as a military. Well, you guys, my I, as a military intelligence guy, I haven't proven it yet, uh, but I'm trying. So, um, but trying it's very prove, difficult trying to, to prove, prove that. Trying to prove that he does exist? Well, I've actually talked to the people who thinks he does. So, actually, I was writing something with my military buds on Bigfoot belief systems and how these people actually believe he exists. So, in you're doing it more forms. like a joke, like it's a, like it's a big deal. Yes. Why would you waste your time? 14, my colleague wrote a 14, book. 40 people read it. Why? why, why, why well, <laughs> You're thinking about once writing. you meet these people. Yeah. Well, we 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 take military buddies and we went on Bigfoot expeditions and we pranked them. So that's the joke with us. We started pranking people on Bigfoot expeditions with fake howls or monkey Cohen. suits. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 So we did this, and that's why we thought this was so funny yesterday. And my military cats called me like Denver. This is the worst prank and best <laughs> prank ever because now you're tw- you're trending number two on Twitter as a Bigfoot eroticist, and it was their pictures and. Uh, they thought it was the best thing ever. So uh, that's what that's what happened. How are you when doing, real how, dude Denver, for how are you doing in the race? Are you ahead of this chick, your opponent, or are <laughs> yeah, you... yeah, we're ahead, and that's why she did it. She was scared, and and we we uh, now have built our own Twitter, Bigfoot Virginia, just for her. So we're having a lot of fun. And when you go against a military cat who has never run for office or who's very new to this, you probably need to know that I'm not a politician, and I'm going to hit you pretty hard if you make fun of uh, Bigfoot. So here we go. So. Uh, I just wanted to set the record straight because I know you guys are into, you know, Bigfoot weirdness, and I, and I want to say I, I don't judge anybody. All right, well, thank no, you. we're not into Bigfoot weirdness. <laughs> our my, producers our are. Our producers are. Yeah. We, we, might be, we might be into yeah. porn. Send, send me a copy of the book. <laughs> yeah. I, I, actually, I'm going to send you guys a copy of the book. I listen to you all. I sort of love you guys. So I do, I, that's why I'm like, I'm calling in because I can, and they're well, going to know military you, people you, will destroy their you, own. I thought you were running for office in Charlottesville. Yeah, but I'm still a senior consultant at the Pentagon. Oh, so, you so um, I'm a, I'm oh. the senior consultant for electronic warfare and countermeasures at, at uh, for the it's Office of Secretary of Defense. So many. Why are you wasting your time? Week. Let me ask you something. It sounds like you're like a smart guy. Yeah, like you you must be really together. bored at work. Why are you wasting your time with that state legislature crap? Why do you? What do you care? Well, it's actually not. It's 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 actually the congressional. I'm running for federal office. Um, uh, they call a lot of people called me because I was fighting against uh, small business overregulation and taxes. And like then, what we know, you're not a politician. But would you run for Congress? I said, yeah, but I'm going to lose. I ended up winning the nomination, and now here I am running for Congress. You talk about the American dream, guys. Who gets to do this, so right? So he is you know, running guys for Congress. Who is, yeah, I'm I don't know who he's guys. running for. All right, so that's a little the bit. District big. of Virginia. As far as I know, he's running around the woods looking for a Sasquatch. Right, and his beef well, I have done that. I have done that, by the way. So let's not, you know, let's not judge me right now. Um, judge. Hey, Denver, our listeners want to know yes, if you were ever in the military. 
<laughs> yes, I was 11 years there. <laughs> All right. That's great. Hey, Denver, you're so, a good sport. I mean, thanks, for, thanks for the paramilitary reference. That must have been a Marine guy who asked that. So thanks a lot, Marine guy. I don't know who Hey, was. Denver, thanks for calling in. You're a yeah. good sport. It's all good. Yeah, right, hold on. Hey, thanks, our, guys. Our, our Bigfoot fetish producers want to talk to you. Yeah, stay on hold. <laughs> okay, that's <laughs> okay. I will. Thanks. All right, thank Denver you. Denver Riggleman. I don't think we're going to need to book, book him when the book comes out. I think that might be Denver Riggleman's only appearance on the show. Mm-hmm. I mean, did he call on his own, or did you track him I down? I think Doyle oh, called Doyle. him. Doyle, Doyle, Doyle Brunson me. called him up. <laughs> <laughs> he mucked, he mucked his up. cards, and they say, hey, Denver, they're making fun of you. All right. <laughs> that joke makes me laugh. You'll always slay me with poker humor.